So how do you graph an equation in point-slope form? Well, if you forget the trick I'm about to show you, you can always just make a quick little table of data points, because remember to graph a line, you just need two points. So I can pick like x equals one and like x equals zero, and then plug those into this equation, find the corresponding y values and plot those points. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to use what this equation gives me. So remember, this equation is called point-slope form, because inside the equation is a point and a slope. And I don't have to calculate it, I just have to be able to pull the information from the equation. So remember that point slope is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Well, what does this equation give me? Well, it gives me the uh, slope m, which in this case is 2 thirds. So I know the slope of the line is negative 2 thirds. Now I remember from my work with slope that I can use the slope to graph an equation of a line if I have a starting point. And uh, well, this equation gives me a point to start with. I'm gonna look for the x value in the point. Um, and so the formula says x minus x1, but this thing here says x plus one. So I have to remember my work with negatives and remember that in order for this to be a plus one, in the formula, it has to be x minus negative 1 because the two negative signs, when you simplify, come together to make a plus sign. So the x value in the point is negative 1. And then the y value is y minus y1, and it's y minus 2, so that means y1 is just 2. So without doing any calculation and with just knowing what this form is and what it gives me, I have a point and a slope. And now that I have the point and the slope, I can graph my equation. So I'm going to put down my axes. And don't forget your arrowheads. And don't forget to use your straight edge because we're dealing with things that are linear lines. And then I'm going to label my axes x and y. And I'm going to label some points to show my scale. Now I can just count by ones in this case because my ordered pair is negative one, two, and my slope is just negative two thirds. All right, so a few things before I start graphing because I'm using pen. Um, I see that this slope is negative, so that means when I graph, I better get a line that is decreasing or oriented in that fashion. Um, if it's not, that means I plotted something wrong or I used my slope wrong, and then I'm gonna therefore get the wrong line. So let's plot the point first. So I want to plot negative 1, 2, and negative 1, 2 is there. And so remember that to use the slope, the numerator is the vertical change, and the denominator is the horizontal change. And if it's negative, that means I'm going to go down 2 and then to the right, 3. So I go down 2, 1, 2, and then over 3, 1, 2, 3, to find my next point. And then I'm going to continue this and find more points, down 2, over three to find a third point. Now I only need a two, but I can make as many as I want because uh, I have a little slope triangle that I can use. Now I'm gonna connect my dots and I have the equation of a line. Now if I wanna make sure I graph this correctly and I have a graphing calculator handy, I can totally make this graphing calculator ready and just plug it in to make sure I get the right line. And so then remember to get this graphing calculator ready, you have to make it y equals. So I want to add 2 to both sides. So you get y equals negative 2 thirds times x plus 1 plus 2. That's the uh, function format. So if I go to y equals, and I have uh, negative 2 thirds times x plus 1 plus 2, and I graph it, and it hits the x-axis at the same spot, so that means I've graphed the same line. So I want to double check to make sure I have all the components of a high quality graph. Arrowheads on things that go forever, including the lines. I use straight edge. I have labels on my scales and my axes, so yay. So if I can't find the point and the slope from point slope, there's really no point in learning point slope at all. Um, so I want to be able to get equations in a variety of forms of point slope and figure out what the point on the line is and what the slope is. Um, and I specifically want the point that the equation's giving you, not just any point. And I need to know the form I have. So this one here, let's just start with this one. Uh, y equals 3 times x minus 4 plus 3. 
Okay, so this isn't the classic way to write point slope. It's the way to write it in um, in a calculator ready form. So if I want to write it in the classic form, remember the classic form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And so I can subtract off 3 from both sides. I get y minus 3 equals 3 times x minus 4. Okay, and so if I have this classic form, now I can figure out what all the information is. M is the slope. In this case, it's that 3. So I've taken care of the slope. And now I have to figure out the point on the line. Okay, And I follow this form. It's y minus y1 and x minus x1 is inside the parentheses. So x minus 4 is in the parentheses. That means the x value is 4. And y minus y1 is y minus 3. That means the y value is 3. And so the slope of the line is 3. And a point on the line is 4 comma 3. Now let's look at this next one. This next one's kind of like a, a special case here because I'm missing some stuff. Um, and I gotta be able to figure out the point and the slope. So if I look back at the classic y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, there are two things that are missing. First, I don't have a y1, it's missing. So that means it's y minus zero. And I just have a negative sign outside of the parentheses, but remember when we were distributing the negatives and I gave you something like four minus, you know, open parentheses, x minus one, uh, there was a phantom one that you have to distribute. So that, that's existing here too, and I get x minus one. And so then if I want to find out what the slope is in this case, my slope is negative one. And the point on the line is one comma zero, right? So if I'm missing values, um, I can put them in, either as a 0 or a 1, depending on where they are. So if I look at this last one, y plus 7 equals x plus 4, same thing. There is a phantom 1 missing right there. So my slope is 1. And the point on the line that I need, well, I have to follow the format. It's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, and these are both pluses, and whenever something's a plus in the classic point slope form, that means someone simplified the sign. So the plus has to be changed back to a minus a 7, and then the plus needs to be changed to a minus a 4, and so then I can just follow the format, uh, y minus y1, and what's being subtracted is uh, negative 7, and then what's being subtracted here is negative 4. So if I have y plus 7 equals x plus 4, then I know my slope is 1, and the point on the line is negative 4, negative 7. So let's check to see if you understand what point slope gives you. So first off, I want you to state the slope of the line and state one point on the line, and I want the point that the equation gives you for these three equations in point-slope form.